Thanks for tuning in everyone, I'm Pat and today I'm going to be giving my long term review of the Taurus TX-22. I've had it for well over a year, I know for a fact it's at least 8,000 rounds. It was well documented as of what I shot and how much I had shot of it. Then I let the boys at Black Diamond Guns and Gear, Josh and Josh, I let them borrow it. Guys, we got this TX-22 from Pat, Real Man of Genius, or Real Man of Mayonnaise, or Real Man of Nays? Yeah. When I handed it to them, it was filthy. It wasn't just carbon. It was like the carbon was in waves. Now, when we got it, it was dirty. It was super dirty. I mean, it was so dirty that it was, like you said, it was like carbon caked in there, right? Yeah, it was carbon caked. I literally took a brush, this brush right here, and these actually used to be white bristles. Yeah. They're black now. I, it was pretty bad. There was stuff in there that we couldn't scrape off with a knife. I mean, it was, it was pretty bad. Pat, clean your guns, man. Okay, lesson learned. So over the last several months, I've gathered some accessories for it that have made it quite a bit more functional and quite a bit more fun to shoot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide over to the tailgate. I've got thunder and I think it's about to come a toad strangler. So we better hurry up, so let's go. Okay, so it's already in the holster, so I'm gonna show the holster. This holster did come from Galloway Precision. It originally shipped with this metal ulti clip right here. You can take that ulti clip, put it on the outside or the inside and change it from inside or outside waistband. And I've decided that since this one's more or less a range toy and or practice, that I was going to rob the paddle off of a Blackhawk. Now, do not contact Galloway about this. I've sent them my findings. But as of right now, you're going to have to find your own. And that is the 2100270. But in my humble opinion, that perfected this holster. Easy on and off. And lots of fun for the range. We still have good retention. But now, as for the elephant in the room, I'm sure you are seeing this optic. This optic plate did come from Galloway Precision. It should be on their website soon. It was very simple and very straightforward. On your factory site, there is a screw right in the middle. It comes in from the top. You take that screw out, and then that sight either slides left or right to come out of that dovetail. This one has a bevel right there, and it slides right into the dovetail. You put a little lock tight on your set screw let it set let it set up just a little bit and go ahead and run your set screw down and then of course your optic takes those two screws as for the ade i don't know if i would choose this one permanently it's got a couple little cracks for some dirt and things like that i know you guys like to do what the youtubers do but this one's going to work but i don't know about how well it's going to work if we get any dirt in it so let's go ahead I'm going to try to turn this on. Oh, it's already on. Now, I may try to shoot this through the viewfinder to give you a first-person look at what that looks like. I can already tell it's going to be sketchy, but we're going to do it anyway. But, yeah, I do keep the thread protector on there. Basically, the threaded adapter, you know, you can take it on and off. But I keep a uh, threaded adapter on there so we can shoot this thing suppressed from time to time. As for the rest of the gun, it's untouched. I haven't done anything to it factory trigger boy it is so smooth what i'll do i have forgotten my trigger gauge so i will edit in a small thing here to show you when i get back home through the magic of cinematography we will fast forward to a time that i did not forget my trigger pull gauge <laughs> so let's go ahead and check it now nothing's been done to this trigger outside of it being pulled a whole bunch of times Just a touch over four pounds. Pardon the neighbors, they're over there sawing. That was just a touch under four pounds that time. We'll go again. Right at four pounds. This is the best out-of-the-box trigger I have ever felt. So as you can see, that is a nice light trigger pull and nothing has been done to it. That is still factory everything. It's only been disassembled for cleaning. 
Now this is another cool thing right here. This right here will be on the Galloway Precision website as well. A little double mag pouch. You can see a little bit of rust where I've been sweating on it. But this is pretty neat. Just holds two mags, has really nice retention. And then also, of course, you can see the mag extensions. These right here are the plus three mag extensions. Factory was 16 rounds. When I first got it, I was getting 19 plus one. Now that this has worn in, I'm actually getting 20. That is 20 rounds right there. Glock 44 can't touch that. I know that we've got a little bit of aftermarket help, but that literally is two mag loadings for the Glock 44. I just suck one of these dry in five mags. That proves to be a lot of fun. But one thing that I found about these and the maintenance thereof, you have got just this tiniest little spring. That tiny little spring will get compressed and you will start having a few malfunctions. So basically all you do, you just take your little set screw out, pull that apart, push everything back up in there and then take your little spring and give it just a little bit of stretch. Don't go crazy and make that thing go nuts, but give it a little bit of stretch, put it all back together and this thing will run like new again. It is very much rock and roll. Now today we're not trying to be superb marksmen. Basically just want to see if this extra weight has any bearing on how the gun runs. All right, so this is going to be tough. I'm looking through the viewfinder of the camera. I'm going to give you a first person. Cool. It's definitely tougher to do. <laughs> so pardon me if I'm not exactly perfect. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's one of the hardest things I've done today. <laughs> pretty neat so back to the review part of this now this one I paid well over $300 for when it was new I found one without a safety so I didn't even shop around I just went straight to where this one was without the safety and grabbed it that is that was my preference and I paid for it but now I've seen these things ran as far as 265 and then I think Palmetto State ran them for 215 after rebate so here I am saying that a bit over $300 to me was a value. At $215, I'd feel like I hit the dang lottery. But now, since I've been doing some of these Taurus videos, I have caught some flack. And I always told the guys, if I find some bad, I'll show you some bad. So this last Friday, I got sent pictures of a 15,000 round example. Now, excuse me for flagging you here, but the snout right here broke off the slide. So I am going to try my best, since that pistol is local to me, I am going to try my best to get a hold of it and make a video. So if you guys are watching in the future, if I do successfully get that gun and make a video, then I'll have in the comment section below the video and how Taurus handled that warranty. So that is me, my service to you, showing you these Tauruses. I'm going to show you the good with the bad. So rock and roll. But... I hope you've enjoyed my review of this little pistol. This thing has been nothing but good. I love it. If you've enjoyed the video, I would love it if you would subscribe. You're absolutely welcome here. We shoot semis, wheel guns, revolver. Well, wheel guns are revolvers. <laughs> anyway, lever actions. I reload. I shoot suppressed. I do all sorts of stuff. I'm going to be traveling to events as they happen, and there will be lots to come. So subscribe, hit that bell, and be ready. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you next video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm Pat, and today I'm going to be giving my long-term review of the Tort Bugs <laughs> of the Taurus TX-22. I've had this thing for probably bugs. <laughs> I'm
of 8,000 rounds through it. I know that I had bugs 